any misconceptions about you that you want to clear up? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you you actually you actually confirmed a misconception for everybody. Tonight, you said, oh, well, you know, if Jocko's going to train somebody, he's going to need to beat them. And that's like people always think that. And it's just so wrong. <laughs> so wrong. So wrong. And I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to go into it now because I talk about it on the yeah. podcast all the time that that stuff is ineffective and you, you actually have to lead people. And when you, yep. Yeah. So but that was a good misconception. You piled on. I'll have, I'll now spend another <laughs> five years trying to debunk that and prove to people that I'm not a drill instructor with a lash. <laughs> But it's good. Thank you. Appreciate no, it. Which was was deliberate. I'm just done. <laughs> <laughs> Jocko's so effective at busting my balls on Twitter, and then everyone takes it literally. I'm like, okay, well, I have to take this opportunity. But the so first misconception. So the uh, cocaine and whores only twice a week, folks. <laughs> it is it is not disabling. Uh, I, that's a joke, internet, by the way. So the I'd say the biggest misconception is. Uh, and it's very understandable. Look, I mean, my book titles, I didn't expect the four-hour thing to become a thing. So the four-hour work week, funny story behind that. The, the original idea for the title, and I had dozens, but the one that, that I ended up testing first was the two-hour work week, which was about as the amount of time I was spending managing my company at the time. And uh, some people at the publisher were like, that's way too unrealistic. <laughs> two hours a week. And I was like, four hours a week? And they're like, that's so much better. I was like, okay, okay perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. And uh, it sounds like a product you'd see after like the spray on hair and before the rotisserie chicken at three in the morning. I mean, it yeah. sounds like an informational product. So I get it. But the biggest misconception from people who have not read the book or books is that I advocate idleness. Oh, uh, okay. And that's not the case. I have no problem with hard work as long as it's focused on the right things. So I think of maximizing per hour output. That doesn't mean I advocate dropping a bunch of acid and like watching your cat walk around the house for 12 hours a day that doesn't do much good for anyone uh so that that's the biggest misconception uh i, I have no problem with hard work i just abhor doing something well that shouldn't be done at all i think that's a waste of skill and a waste of energy uh that, that's the biggest I, yeah. I, I, there, there are plenty of other ones <laughs> you know something too that you need to watch out for is just because you work hard mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you're doing good Right, I and mean, there's yeah. there's a bunch of little sayings about that. But just because you're working hard and getting up early, and and you think you're getting after it, you might be moving a lot, but you're not making any progress. And there's a big difference there. And I think that's yeah. something that people need to work, watch out for as well. Right. So the for instance, I think the prioritize and execute. People need to. <laughs> I think that's such an important starting point. Like, like what you do is infinitely more important than how you do something. If you have a list of unimportant to dos and you're killing it with the unimportant to dos. <laughs> That's that's still a chalking up to a loss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're still losing, my friend. You're still losing. Uh, so for me, it's I, I. When people ask me about time management, I'm like, no, no, no. Like, if you don't have time, you don't have priorities. So focus on the what uh, should you be doing. And for me, you know, the effective executive by Peter Drucker is is the classic there. Don't worry about your apps and your email management and so on. Just like read a book that's a few decades old that just talks about prioritizing. Uh, so the, the, the biggest misconception, yeah, just the whole four hour shtick that is my blessing and my curse forever. <laughs> that part, that which is guy. another reason why this is my first book without four hour in the title. Oh, hopefully yeah. it'll sell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I also lo lost the Timothy and went to Tim just so I don't have to feel like I'm getting chastised by my mom every time. I'm what made you interviewed. go with Timothy on the first ones? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sounded more official. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. Awesome. All right. <laughs> 